are these people? Colin, you use Wikipedia. Are you allowed to use Wikipedia? Mm, Blame me if classic, I'm allowed. Well, classically, you're not supposed to use Wikipedia, right? You know, right. It's, well, then it's, again, my students are way too young to use Wikipedia anyway. True. So. You know, I just remember not being able to use it in college. So, and oh, high school and middle school. Oh, oh well, Wikipedia didn't, well, just to show how old, <laughs> like, Wikipedia didn't exist You're old. when I was in college. Uh, I'm not anyway. sure if it even, yeah, it existed in grad school for me, but yeah, like. So, <laughs> they've decided to ban the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, and you're, you're probably wondering why that is. Well, we're going to get into it. Luckily, Robert N. Lakesh over at Mint Press. Uh, you know, social news, putting that out for people. Um, he writes, Wikipedia calls key Zionist lobby unreliable. Um, Robert N. Lakesh says the pushback against the ADL is a rebuke to the definition of anti-Semitism adopted by U.S. universities, companies, governments, political parties, and lawmakers. So, the Anti-Defamation League, also known as the ADL, has long been regarded as a trustworthy, trustworthy Source on anti-Semitism by Western corporate media, its reports have often been central to discussions about the rise of attacks against Jewish people. However, the ADL now faces significant backlash for its brazen conflation of anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. Did you also know, Care Bear, the ADL also consults every FBI agent before taking duty? Um, just in case you were wondering. Why I didn't know that, but it would make yep. sense. Yes, it does. So, Wikipedia has added the New York based Anti Defamation League to a list of banned and partially banned sources due to its conflation of anti Jewish hate crimes and anti Israel critiques. Good looking out, Wikipedia. After editors voted it unreliable as a source of information, the ADL now finds itself along sources like Newsmax and Occupy Democrat. This Development places the ADL, considered part of the vast network of groups that form the Israel lobby, in the category of unreliable information. I mean, a little late, but better late, I guess. ADL no longer appears to adhere to a serious mainstream and intellectually cognate definition of anti-Semitism. Instead, it has succumbed to the shameless politicization of the very subject it was originally esteemed for being reliable on, said Wikipedia editor. Standard 323. The labeling of the ADL as unreliable is a major blow to the narrative pushed by Western media since December. The narrative cited the NGO's reported data on the unprecedented spike in anti Semitic incidents following October 7th. The ADL claimed that anti Semitic incidents rose by 360% after the beginning of the war on Gaza and that 140% more incidents occurred. 2023 compared to the previous year. That that sound about right to you, Care Bear? Um, well, here's the thing. It could be right if they include Palestinians. Yeah, yes. Since they are so, Semites. Isn't that funny how right. that works? I got 141 right. and two-thirds chance of winning. I mean... Yeah, so it could be right. But the problem is it does not include Palestinians. So... Yeah. We Are you about, sure about that? We what? talked about him in the job last week, and we've also mentioned in passing um, of Palestinians in the West experiencing Islamophobic attacks on mm -hmm. them, given that they are Palestinian. But those, I'm the sure, the numbers not don't lie. And they spell disaster for you. Those incidences are not included or even mentioned among no. China at all. No, they would never. Not from the ADL, especially. Um, so, 140 percent more incidents occurred in 2023 compared to the previous year. All that. However, the ADL has admitted to changing its definition of what constitutes an anti-Semitic incident. The new definition now includes. Pro-Palestinian protests that featured anti-Zionist chants and slogans. According to the foreword, these accounted for around 1,317 of the total incidents reported. So that's like, I don't know, from the river to the sea or, you know, 
getting poked in the eye by a flag. One of those, one of those things. So right. any of those things, I'm sure, gets added to the list for them. Um, Jonathan Greenblatt, the ADL CEO. Also, what a what a name, Greenblatt. Greenblatt. Like Greenblatt is weird. I don't know. Just very strange to me. Um, no, well, I grew up in Jersey, so okay. So I, my doctor, at least when I was a kid, mm. his name was um, Rosenblatt. Okay. I had, a, I had a student in my class whose last yeah. name was Blatt. So gotcha. I guess Blatt is a very, I, think it just I wouldn't say falls, common. It falls flat for names, you know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it just ends yeah. to, like, you can't be like a Blatt, like, you know. A bird, I mean, a stall, I think a stein. Me, like, I've heard, I've heard variations of blot. Right. Like, yeah. A thaw. Not all my life, but at least when I lived in New Jersey, for sure. <laughs> you know. So. So, but yes. So, Jonathan Greenblatt, the ADL CEO, has also reportedly come under fire for his comments regarding a student protest across the United States during an interview with MSNBC claimed that Iran has the military proxies like Hezbollah, and Iran has their campus proxies, like these groups like SJP and JVP, Jewish Voices for Peace. Oh, God, what, how, how dare they advocate for peace? Like, and justice, peace and justice, how dare they advocate for peace and justice? Colin, did we not do a story not that long ago on Israeli campus efforts? I, I do yeah. believe they also do the same thing. So it's a bit of a black calling kettle in this case. You know? Right. If but, anything, that that is truly anti-Semitic. Yes. Because you're going against your own kind. Well, I don't want to say it like that, but like you're going against other Jewish people who are anti-Zionist. So... Oh. Yeah, so this this is, is Danny... Paul, Paul Shuk, Paul Shuk. Danny, if you're watching, feel free to send me like a pronunciation, but I hope Holy that's God. how you do it. Um, you did this lovely skit way back when. I think it fits. So I'm going to play it here now. Um, so I hope people enjoy. Um, Hi there, I'm Martin Goldlust. Vice President at the ADL. The Anti-Defamation League has come under much scrutiny and as a representative of this fine nonpartisan group, I feel that it's time to clear the air. The goal of the ADL is to stop the defamation of the Jewish people while securing justice and fair treatment for all. And we do that by providing handy resources. Take for example our glossary of extremism. Here are some problematic and racist terms that you might find in our glossary of extremism and you can decide for yourself whether they are racist and or problematic. Phrases like do your own research, which is a blatant dog whistle to racists. We also track <laughs> all the racist numbers that you might come across. Numbers like 3, 6, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, which is odd because that's a lucky number for Jews. 23, 28, 33, 38, 52, 88, 90, 100, 109, 110, 111, 311, which is weird just because that's information in most cities, plus it's a decent band. 318, 511, and finally 737. Also the letters H, K, X and a few vowels that I care not to get into. We also provide things like proper hand washing technique so that you are not mistaken for an anti-Semite. You want to wash your hands like this, like this, and very much not like this. You do not want to rub your hands <laughs> together like the grabbler, otherwise people will think that you are anti-Semitic. So when you see people trying to discredit the Anti-Defamation League on the internet, just make note of that fact as these people are in fact racist. And the only reason that they would want to discredit the Anti-Defamation League is because they themselves are doing defamations and they are guilty of said defamations. I'm looking at you, Elon Musk. And while a lot of people say that we are anti-free speech, we are not anti-free speech. We are anti-hate speech. We are here merely to police hate speech. And a lot of people ask, what is hate speech specifically? And we are the ones who decide. And sometimes it could be as little as 
this gesture or random numbers or whatever but we're saying what it is and if you do that stuff then you'll get fired it's no big deal free speech is protected in this country hate speech is not thank you very much everybody and please of course consider donating to the adl it's with your generous support that we are able to do this very important work Please, to our Jewish friends, consider donating in increments of 18, as that stands for high life, and it is a very lucky number. And if you are not Jewish, do not donate $18 increments, as that means you are a white supremacist. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Um, nope. <laughs> I, I feel like people had the ADL pegged for a minute, um, including, including us and Mint Press. Um, who we covered way back when. Take a look on the channel for this. ADL, is it is it racist? Um, we covered this a while back. Guess what? Spoiler alert. It totally fucking is. But what do I know? Um, so to continue, in response to this, the Council on American Islamic Relations protested the platforming of Green Black Deputy Executive Director Edward Abed Mitchell stated, falsely claiming that Jewish and Palestinian student organizations are literal proxies of the Iranian government is a dangerous and, ironically, defamatory slander <laughs> and has no place on MSNBC or any other television network. Guess what? That's kind of what MSNBC is for, ain't it? But right. what do I know? Mitchell has also addressed other comments by Greenblatt, who describes the ADL as a civil rights group. He asserted no civil rights leader would ever equate Jewish and Palestinian pilot students with Hezbollah, analogize the Nazi swastika to the Palestinian kufia, or question whether Hamas sympathizers were writing MSNBC scripts. I guarantee you that's not happening. In January, an ADL staff revolt occurred after CEO Greenblatt praised Elon Musk, who had seemingly endorsed the anti-Semitic theory that minority communities are responsible for anti-Semitism and that Jewish people are to blame. Greenblatt also sparked controversy when Elise Paul revealed him, stating, We have a major TikTok problem and generational issues in garnering public support for Israel. They also go after Spotify. Take a look at our Spotify band low-key segment, um, which apparently Spotify is now going after pro-Russian accounts as well in regards to the Ukraine war. So, you know, Spotify censoring. So, you know, check out other alternatives like jessejet slash bandcamp.com. But what do I know? Um, the subsequent targeting of TikTok by the U.S. Congress involving politicians also, Colin, didn't, didn't Elon Musk meet with with Netanyahu not all that long ago? Yes, he did. Okay, just making sure. Um, the subsequent targeting of TikTok by the U.S. Congress involving politicians receiving donations from Israel lobby groups suggested that anti-Israeli content was a factor in the legislative push to ban the app. The pushback from Wikipedia against the ADL and its definition of anti-war activists protesting Zionism is a rebuke of the controversial definition of anti-Semitism put forth by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. This IHRA definition, now adopted by hundreds of universities, companies, governments, political parties, and the U.S. House of Representatives, includes examples of criticism of Israel and Zionism. So, you know, thus, the conflation between criticism of Israel and hatred of Jewish people is not just an ADL problem, as the pro-Israeli group could argue that is following this widely accepted so, any questions? No. Nope. Yep, didn't think so. So, anything to add? Any comments? I mean, it's good, but I'm not. It's good that you know they got to put the put the brakes on in Wikipedia. But I just want it doesn't gonna it doesn't mean much in terms of policy yeah. because they already, you know, they're still targets people are still being targeted and we talked about numerous um story not numerous but enough stories by now where any talk regarding palestine in a positive way um is being obfuscated by 
essentially is people within the Israeli lobby that they essentially are threatening people, you know, either to pull those resources or to not talk about it, or yeah. in worst cases, either having people fired uh, or do uh, doxed on account of being pro-Palestine. So, yep. so, so again, it's a good thing on Wikipedia, but it's not going to help TikTok right now. And actually, you'll be curious to see what happens to TikTok as we head into the fall, especially given with the election coming up. So, yeah. um, I'm I'm certain though, a Zionist is trying going to try and buy TikTok. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Um, yeah. So. And so, but yeah. So, it, but it's the idea that really kills me. Is the idea that? Well, we I already know who owned TikTok. We covered that. Look up TikTok Trojan Horse on the channel. Go check that story out. Right. Um, but I think the issue that I find interesting is that they essentially changed the definition of anti-Semitism in real time to make it fit within the narrative of what they're trying to push yeah. to kind of make them more of the victim and to isolate and shun Palestinians. So that's not cool. And But they're powerful enough where they're able to get away with it given so it's, yeah, I mean, I, I would love for this to be translated into actual policy where it would make a difference, but as of right now, no bueno. Bye-bye, Israel! What? Um, well, talking about these things is why we're demonetized. So you can go to code-v.com slash indie news network description below hit that qr code on your screen if you're in that live chat little exclamation mark donate send us a little super chat that way get your name up on screen like you want to um and if you can't do that times are tough you know you can just like and subscribe very easy you already hear it from every other youtuber you watch so you might as well hear it from us you already know what to do go in there put the comment share the video you get it you know otherwise thanks for watching